Hello and welcome to this Absolute Beginners Blender tutorial less than 8 because this one should really be a precursor to number 8. The reason why I'm doing this is because I've learned from comments that there are some pieces missing in the tutorials and I'm very grateful for you that have made these comments and I want to start with uh, using my num keypad to get into um, the front orthogonal view. So I'll press 5 to get orthogonal and 1 to get in the front view. And I know that some of you are using uh, laptops that don't have the num keypad. So I'll show you now how to set the user preferences. You go here into user preferences and there's this one here, emulate numpad. If you click that one then the keys 1 to 0 uh, will act as the num keypad ones for on a laptop. So that's very handy and the cool thing with this is like okay I'll keep that I still have my numpad and I'll go back to the 3D view and if I press for instance uh, well first what I'll do here so we can see what's happening is I'll delete this cube and I replace it shift A with the monkey like this so we're looking at this from the from the front and the monkey comes facing upwards. So if, if I press, press 7, now I'm pressing 7 on, on my alphanumeric keypad, boom, then we're there. And if I press 1 on my num keypad that I have, and if you have a laptop you don't have it, so it's um, it allows you to do the maneuvering, uh, the view maneuvering from the alphanumeric keypad. And the coolest thing with this is it doesn't make it impossible to make changes. Now I have this, I ha have this uh, uh, num keypad emulation on, and I want to rotate this uh, monkey 90 degrees around the x-axis because I want to look it in the face when I'm looking uh, looking at it from the front. So I do this R on the alphanumeric keypad, X, and then nine zero. So there. It took those numbers, so I can still, if I want to go and, um, you know, change the aspect ratio, ratio, not that I would like to, but let's say I do that here on the, and I can just enter numbers through my alphanumeric keypad. It doesn't, you know, change. It's only when I'm in the mode of uh, actually making maneuvers in 3D space that it, that it counts. If I'm in the middle of a, you know, scale, uh, X, five, like that, for instance, and I'll regret that by pressing Control Z. Then it won't, you know, it will just take the number. It won't do a, uh, a you know, view maneuver. So it's it's a very well thought out feature. So if you have a laptop, I think you should uh, consider using that. So user preference, I'll I will turn it off because I don't need it, and then. I keep the emulate three button mouse because it allows me to do you know my navigation the way I want it and I keep the right uh, select with right that's the default and I keep that and I use the trackball orbit style and that's about it so those are those are the settings so I'll, I'll just um, And of course, if you press Control U here in this situation, then the monkey will be your default thing that is there. So uh, you have, if you want to keep the cube as your default, uh, you know, that comes up when you open up Blender, you kind of want to make all your user preference changes then. Or let's say I press Control U now and uh, save that. Okay, now I. Close down Blender and I open it up again, and here's the monkey. Well, the way to get back, if I want, uh, you know, if I do want to have the uh, um, cube instead, is so I just delete the monkey, uh, Shift A, uh, add a cube, and maybe I want to want to navigate up so I have this, you know, perspective the way the way it usually looks, like what it comes out of the box, so to speak. And then then I just do Control U. And then we have that. Uh, I can exit Blender and open it up. And here we go. So now we're back. 
So those are things about the user preferences, and I think it's useful for you to, you know, be kind of, and I'll go back to where I was, Shift A, and the monkey, Mesh monkey, and I'll RX90 and uh, 5, 1. So I'm looking at it from the front in orthogonal view. So now we're at the point where we can talk about selection. And there's lots and lots and lots of things to talk about selection because there are a whole array of selection tools. And of course, selection works kind of similar in object and uh, edit mode. And the, now the monkey is selected. If I press the shift key and press the right mouse button over these, uh, the lamp and the camera, they'll be selected. And then I can press A to deselect everything and A to select everything. So that's another way of selecting things. Now we go into edit mode by pressing tab. Okay, I need to select. I need to select the monkey first before it's meaningful to go into ed edit mode. And everything is selected to start with. So I'll press A to deselect it. And now we're going to talk about the very most uh, basic selection uh, tool, and that's selecting one uh, vertex or edge, and I'm just right-clicking, and you can see if I select another one, the, the selection of the first one goes away, and same thing with face, of course. Okay, sorry, I wasn't want to move that, but so to retain the one that I, if I want to select several, then I press the shift key and keep selecting with the right mouse button. And press A to deselect everything. So, right mouse button or shift right mouse button to retain selection. To select the whole loop of um, faces, edges, or vertices, I'll, I'm in face mode now, and I'll press the Alt key, and it doesn't matter what mode you're in, but to make a loop selection, press Alt, and right mouse click like that. So, and if you want to retain the loops that you already have, uh, if you want to keep them, you do Alt, Shift, right mouse click, like this. So, A, 1, 5, from the front here. No, that's now I'm in perspective. Go back to orthogonal view. So, as I said, Alt, right mouse, selects a loop, A, to deselect everything. Then there are other specialized tools. But before we go into them, we'll click this little thing here. This one here allows you to select things that you cannot see. We're looking at this from the front. I will press Shift, no, Control, so, sorry, Control 1 to look at it from the back. And if I press this again, then we can see it's in opaque mode now. We, can, we can't see anything but what's just in front of us. If I press the see-through mode or whatever, or you can press also, um, uh, sorry, if you're here and you press Z, like as in zebra, then, then you see through, that's like a mesh mode or a uh, wireframe mode. So then you have kind of a, you, you look through everything. It's like you have x-ray vision. So I'll press Z again and go back. And then if I press this one here, selects things that you cannot see. So if, I, if I'm here and I press Control, left mouse. So Control, left mouse is the lasso. Like that. And l now I'm going to press Alt and the left mouse to navigate in space to rotate around and you can see that I did select straight through the model. So this here, this button here is either see-through mode or opaque mode. Or visible only or everything or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I introduced this control, left mouse, the lasso, like that. And then there's the box select, which is you press B on the alphanumeric keypad, and then left mouse, and select the box. Also subject to this. All selections are subject to this, you know, the, the C or uh, the opaque or uh, invisible also. 
So there you go. And then there's another one called, I don't know what it's called, Control C and then C again. Now you have a little bubble here, and if you move this in uh, with your mouse wheel, you can increase it like that. And now you select, and with Alt and left mouse, you deselect. So with the left mouse button, you select. With the Alt and left mouse, you deselect. So, and then you can lower it down, and then Alt. So this way you can kind of. I'm just holding Alt down now, or uh, just so you can kind of paint with the selection tool. So there's a whole number of ways to select things, but this tool you can't navigate while you're. You, you can only select with it. You cannot, you know, change around. Like you have to, uh, you have to exit it by pressing Escape. So you press Control C. C, and then you're in it, and then escape to get out of it. A to deselect everything. So if I, for instance, press Alt, right mouse, and click that, then I can Im instantly continue without having to press Escape, continue to navigate. Shift, Alt, right mouse, same thing. So though they are not a captured mode they're all you're back in navigation mode immediately and I think that that's everything I will cover in this tutorial I hope you found it useful I appreciate everybody that leaves comments that help me to improve on these tutorials and making and even make additionals like this uh, you know I, I can't always you know or for the most part I cannot uh, uh, grant requests for particular types of tutorials because I only have so much time. But when something has been repeatedly discovered as a problem, especially a problem that is is very fundamental to working with it, I'm uh, you know I I feel compelled to to uh, make a a, um, a further investigation. So thank you for listening. I appreciate it. If you appreciate this, please like, favorite, subscribe, leave comments. Uh, love love you long time. And uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.